Hello, my fellow comic book collectors. This is another in my series of buying low-grade comics as an investment. So this one is kind of a major. <laughs> this is this is my biggest comic uh, in terms of the ones that I have. That's a blue label. Uh, it's my most expensive comic. And it's a comic that, um, in a way, I want to show uh, as a really good understanding comic, one that will help you really understand how the market reacts to a bad movie, to a movie that didn't do well, but is a blue, still a blue chip comic. Okay, so it's sort of the worst situation that you could have if you're an investor. You, when you're investing, you want to invest in something that's a winner. And generally, you want to have a movie come out and that movie does really, really well. Everybody loves the character and there's huge hype and it continues to be a popular character, even more popular than it was before. And this is one of those cases where the character is very popular, sure, but the movie did terribly. And that's a real problem, especially if you're seeing comics as an investment, you want that movie to do well, <laughs> especially if it's a long-term investment. If you sold it before the movie comes out, then you did well. If you sold it after, not so much. <laughs> so let's take a look at this blue chip. And it's a major one. It is my, as I said, it's my ma biggest comic that I have um, in terms of blue chips. So this is a low grade. You can see it's actually got a cut out here. Actually, cut. This would be probably a five. It's actually a very high good, you know, it's, it's actually in really good shape, except for this cut. Um, and it's a, it's all-star comics number eight. It is the first appearance of a major character, Wonder Woman. And it's a two five, which is a very low grade. Um, if it wasn't for this cut, it would just be so, so much better. I'm not sure why the person chose to cut that little piece out of the comic, but they did. It's like a t torn out. Um, so it made it a low grade. So this is a 2.5. Um, you know, it's a blue label. And it's, you know, it's still, and it's a major golden age key. So the movie came out, Wonder Woman movie came out, and it didn't do well. It didn't perform well. A lot of people complained that it was just poorly done. Um, and it just didn't really do well. There was a lot of hype around Wonder Woman before the movie came out. There was a lot of excitement. Uh, especially because it was the first major movie uh, during the whole lockdown situation. And it just didn't perform well. Uh, it was just kind of sad. And it was, it went to, uh, instead of being released in the theaters, well, it did get released in the theaters, but most people saw it online. So a lot of things going against uh, the popularity of the movie. So with that all said, how did it affect the price? This is an established character it's got that kind of established price, uh, you know, that's associated. It's a pretty expensive comic. I'm going to tell you how much I paid. <laughs> I paid 15000 for this. Um, you know, so it's, you know, I paid a fairly hefty amount of money for a low-grade comic. Uh, it's just a very expensive comic as it is. Um, so with that all said, I'm going to look at the numbers and see how well my investment performed, but how these kind of golden age keys play out in terms of their investment potential, even if the movie fails. So that's what we're going to take a look at. So we're going to look at the numbers and I'll just read the little bit about the, uh, about the comic. It's All-Star Comics number eight. It's the origin of Wonder Woman, first appearance of Wonder Woman, Dr. Fate dons the new helmet, uh, Hop Harrigan, text stories and Starman begins, you know, so there's a lot of, lot of stuff going on in this comic. Um, you'll see that there is no 9.8. <laughs> uh, they're the highest graded one so far that they found is a 9.4 and it hasn't had any recent sales. So we were looking at a older sale. It's fair market value is considered to be around 650,000. So pretty expensive book in a high grade. Um, in the low grade, you know, there's just not many of these on the census. As when you get into the golden age, 
really not many on the census. Uh, there's only 186. You know, compare to that to some of the other ones that I've looked at in the series, the Silver Age, where there's literally thousands on the census. This is a rare book, 186 on the census, very, very rare. Um, and that does kind of reflect in the pricing. So we see uh, there hasn't been, I actually got this one graded. So this one was a raw copy that when I bought it and I got it graded. So it graded at a 2.5 and I was very happy <laughs> when, I, when I got that grade. Um, so yeah, so it, uh, you'll notice that there hasn't been any kind of recent sales of the, the 2.5. Uh, and the, the next nearest one is a 2.0, which had a sale in May. So before the movie came out. So this is somebody that bought at the top of the market. Uh, and it's almost the same price as a 2.5. So probably the 2.5 has some room to grow, but you know, you never know. Um, and you'll notice, you know, it's a fairly pricey book altogether. So I, I actually did well on my investment. You know, I, I paid 15 and it's worth 20, 24. So let's take a look uh, how well, what they say is the growth of this comic. So you'll notice um, even though this, the, the movie didn't necessarily perform that well. Just the fact that there's a revigoration of the character, like people are kind of excited about the character again, even though the movie didn't perform well. It's a, because it's such an established character, it's a character that's been around for 80 years now. Um, people are gonna kind of be, you know, excited about it every time it appears in the movie. Every time there's a new Justice League movie, there's a new Justice League movie coming out, Jack, the Snyder Cut with Wonder Woman in it. You know, there's going to be that excitement. And these, these kind of major blue chip characters, um, they're the kind of characters that there's going to be, like maybe there's not a movie this year, but maybe there's a movie next year, or there's a movie the year after that. There's always going to be something done about them because they're characters that are iconic. They're ones that people constantly want to hear stories about. So that's that's the cool thing about these blue chip comics is they they really do have that kind of draw that they'll do well even in a bad with a bad movie. So um, with that being said, let's take a look at the numbers. Pretty much all green and very high green. And part of the reason for this huge spike in numbers it's a little bit kind of rough to say, okay? The reason I say these numbers are a little bit inflated, you know, is the fact that there's just not many of these comics. It's a rare comic, doesn't have huge sales. Like we're looking at, like normally in the low grades, you're seeing like 10 to 20 sales or maybe 30 sales, but we're talking like, you know, eight sales in the max, like 11 sales. Some, you know, some had a few more sales. You'll notice that the ones that had the least number of sales had the biggest spike. And it's just because of the fact that, you know, they're looking at only a few number of sales and there hasn't really been that many recent sales. And there's a bit of a price correction that's happening in those numbers where, you know, the prices have gone up, but there just hasn't been the sales to realize that price. So a lot of these numbers are a little bit inflated because of that. So just that's just a word of the wise, I guess. Um, so you'll notice that my, my two five has gone up 700%. <laughs> so again, the, the, the sales kind of reflect that, that it's, it's been a while since the, a two five has sold. It hasn't been since 2017. So therefore you get that kind of huge spike in the numbers. So you gotta, you really have to do that analysis, looking at how these comics have been sold and understanding that that number it can be a little bit de deceptive but overall it has gone up in value and it has shown a huge uh, growth in terms of that number um is a very popular character that was undervalued for a long time so it, it was a good investment to get in on because of the fact that it was undervalued for such a long time. 
And you'll see that with all these prices, like crazy prices that it's gone up. So with all of that being said, you know, we can see that that low grade was a pretty great investment. Imagine, you know, spending, you know, 500 bucks on a comic or a thousand dollars on a comic or $10,000 on, on an investment. And within a year, you've doubled your money or tripled your money. Or in this case, there's, they're saying over a four year period that you've, your investment has gone up seven times. That's insane. There's not that many things that do perform that well. So this is why I, I, I kind of recommend these blue chip comics as a best investment tool. And you can, and by looking at the low grades, <laughs> you can sort of get in a little bit cheaper than if you went for that high, high grade. So that was just a quick, quick look at uh, some of the investment numbers um, and trying to get you an understanding of uh, why you might want to consider looking at the low grades as a potential investment, especially if it's a blue chip, it's a, a golden age comic is always, <laughs> you know, is a really good one. Um, there's some really major specs that, uh, that I have on the golden age. I'm, I've been trying to pick up a lot of golden age comics lately. And the reason being is, um, what I see is, um, a hype that's happening in the current market, like the modern age market. And what people are doing is they're saying, well, I'm paying like 4,000 or 5,000 for uh, like a Miles Morales, <laughs> Morales. Why not pick up a golden age for the same price? You know, and a lot of that is happening now where people are kind of going back and saying, well, what could have my, what could my money that I would have been spending on a modern key get me in a golden age key and that's what's happening a lot too so a lot of these golden age ones people are kind of going back and sort of picking up because there's that potential for a bit of a jump so um with all that said i hope you enjoy these investment related comic videos check out my other videos and there's lots to see on my channel i try to post out every day at 11 45 <laughs> eastern time so check my videos out. I hope you subscribe and comment and leave me a nice thumbs up. Thank you.